Uh, talk about what's good about Fresno and the Valley. Our next guest, James Shepard, does something for Civil Air Patrol. Now, is your Civil Air Patrol unit, is that Fresno, the Valley, the state, the nation? Our squadron is a Fresno uh, Combined Squadron uh, 112, but we are certainly uh, a national organization of 56,000 members. 56,000, wow. And we have uh, three principal missions. One, we're the main search and rescue organization. We have mm -hmm. our own aircraft at Cessna 182, mm -hmm. and we have air crew that are trained to go and search for downed aircraft. We do aerospace education, mm -hmm. working to expand that in the schools, as well as with our own cadets mm -hmm. and, and members. But the thing I'd really like to talk about today is, is the cadet program and a significant enhancement to that that's, that's coming along really quickly. And that is we're going to be helping the Air, Por Air Force find and uh, train pilots. Mm. And what that will mean to our uh, cadet members, they'll have the opportunity to compete for scholarships to go to a six-week intensive encampment an opportunity to earn their private pilot's license. Wow. That represents about a $10,000 yeah. scholarship, very significant uh, scholarship. And uh, of course, the Air Force <clears throat> is hoping that uh, many of them will also continue and uh, who, join well, who the Air be, Force. Who could be a cadet? Is that an age? <clears throat> the, there is an age restriction for a cadet. We're looking basically for uh, middle school and, mm -hmm. and high school students okay. from 12 to, uh, to 18. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, we accept you know, all kinds of uh, students. And there's a lot more to Civil Air Patrol than, than flying. Mm -hmm. uh, service uh, is, is a very big part of it. Learning leadership skills, learning teamwork, mm -hmm. character development. And we also are very fortunate we have a, uh, a doctor who does our drug education to mm -hmm. cadets to try to yeah. keep them on a, on a straight path there right. and not mess up their lives. Otherwise, they can't be a pilot. They're, they're, uh, absolutely not. No. You, the failed drug tests do not help you get your pilot's wings. Now, now, a lot of us keep thinking, oh, it's pilots, 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 but what percentage of people in the Civil Air Patrol are actually pilots? The percentage that are actually pilots in Civil Air Patrol are probably only around 10%, 10%. because there are so many other uh, jobs to do. Um, most of the people who are working in our cadet program, are the, the seniors working there, are, are not pilots. They are often very interested, enthusiastic uh, parents who came in mm -hmm. and then the, the decided to uh, serve more than just their own kid, mm -hmm. but, but other cadets too. In fact, many, many years ago, I originally joined Civil Air, Civil Air Patrol because my son was going to be in it. Mm -hmm. And he moved out of it, and I've been you working in Civil Air yeah. Patrol for more than 30 years. Was he going to go in as a cadet? Or, or he, he was a cadet. He yes. was a cadet. Wow. He, so he that was high he school was age, junior and high he, school he age. He went on to join the Navy, not the Air, the Air Force. Force but yeah. I've since forgiven him. You've forgiven him for that. So, <laughs> were you in the military? I had 22 years in the military, a combination 22. of active duty, Air Force Reserve, and finished up here with the California Air National Guard. The 144. The 144th. Yeah. I was uh, one of the F4 uh, flyers. You when, flew when a jet. Those. I flew, flew the F4 wow. fan. Oh my God. And that was uh, quite a ride. Yeah. They, they used to invite me to go for, for flights, you know, it's always get the politician to puke thing, and I never took the ride, so. Um, well, you, 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 you missed uh, an experience yeah. that you'll just have to regret for the rest of your That's life. So like life, I say, so. Mike. <laughs> they, they did take me on the uh, trip to the, uh, to the uh, uh, what's a mountain, and there's a, the NORAD there, I think. Cheyenne Mountain. Yeah, and I did take that trip where we f flew in the refueling plane and did a refueling maneuver in the air mm -hmm. and stuff, and I got to do that trip, right. so that was when, a lot of fun. Out of so. Castle, when Castle was open. Yeah, and we flew right out of Fresno, so over there. They took a bunch of the, us politicians over, so. So now, so the cadets, anybody that's in, in, in middle school or high school right, can go, can join, or apply to join, I guess. Do you have to have a certain GPA or qualifications? There, there's not a certain GPA, but we certainly do emphasize uh, academics. Mm -hmm. We try to encourage the, the STEM subjects. We have uh, STEM kits of, available to us, like on, on rocketry, radio controlled mm -hmm. aircraft, astronomy, computers. We have uh, wow. uh, another that this year, we have no team, of course, a cyber patriot team. Mm -hmm. Our cadets just got back from working at the Salinas Air Show where they got to see the Thunderbirds fly and got wow. to see 
yeah. uh, both current and some uh, vintage aircraft. And I'm very proud of my cadets. They did a great, yeah. great job there. And we'll be marching in the uh, Veterans Day parade to honor our our, our veterans mm. and a number of other the projects. Cadets march. Good. Number cool. of other projects uh, also uh, coming along. We are upgrading from color guard to actually having an honor guard, honor guard. that we will be uh, c competing in uh, both uh, states. And if things go well, yeah. maybe regional competition with with our honor guard. Now, so, I, now, I asked you if these cadets need good GPAs. Well, maybe uh, uh, somebody who's not doing well in school and isn't focused and have real interest, maybe the cadet program would be a way to get them focused and learn some discipline and maybe do better in school in the long run. That, that's actually true. Goal setting is an important part of the program. And <clears throat> you just had a life coach on, and why are people not motivated? Yeah. Well, if people have no goal or no vision for their mm -hmm. life, well, what's to be motivated about? Yeah. And the cadet program is a program that can really enrich uh, kids' lives. And I say, you know, youth, both, both male and female. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, female commanders. We've had uh, female uh, cadets that have gone to the Air Force Academy. Wow. We currently oh have gosh. one there who's halfway through the academy. That'd be I have great. Three, three of our cadets who are applying for next year. Mm -hmm. And I won't know till spring if they're all three going to make it, but I think they all have excellent chances of making it to Air Force Academy. But you know, the academy is not for everyone, but if you have the information, everyone's wondering, how do we pay for college these days? Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. If they decide they have the interest in the military, um, the ROTC programs frequently are able to provide full scholarships. Yeah, wow. You graduate, you're commissioned as a, as a second lieutenant, and then, of course, there's many, many career fields to go into in addition to aviation mm -hmm. in the military. There's also uh, scholarships available for uh, medical and nursing or pharmacy or, mm -hmm. or, or, or psych. It is not just one job. Mm -hmm. And starting a cadet program, I think it helps youth to see possibilities in their mm -hmm. future. We do that by visiting bases. Mm -hmm. Last mm -hmm. spring, we went to Vandenberg Air Force Base. We got to see the missile operations there, yeah. even go down a Minuteman 3 silo. Wow. Next spring, we're working on it. We'll probably be going out to Edwards mm -hmm. and see um, the, the NASA museum there mm -hmm. and probably visit the Civilian Space Center mm -hmm. at, at Mojave. Mm -hmm. And so just you know, the horizons well, for kids, the, yeah. the, the more they know about what the opportunities are, the more they can perhaps visualize themselves in that future Work, working in those areas. So many young people have no idea what they want to do. They go to college and drift through college, but we're talking about uh, young people getting direction. A lot of people start college, they have no idea where they're going or what they want to be, but being in the Civil Air Patrol, you expose young people to potentialities that they could actually achieve different jobs and different career fields. It doesn't have to be a pilot. Right. There's. I mean, aviation is obviously a, a big part of it, but it's not the only part of it. Right. Now, are people, are, are there paid, is every a volunteer, I guess what I'm asking, in the Civil Air Patrol, or are there paid spots in it? We are a volunteer service organization. Mm -hmm. Just about a year ago, we've been officially made a part of what's called a total force of the active duty, reserves, Air National Guard, and now Civil Air Patrol, mm -hmm. but we're the only part that is citizen volunteers. Now, are there some things that happen, maybe we've seen in the news lately, that you guys got involved with? Well, this is not a, not a cadet function, but a really growing part of our mission is uh, post-disaster reconnaissance. Mm -hmm. We have photographic abilities with, with the aircraft. We work with the State Office of Emergency Services. They will put out an, an order. They need, they need imagery mm -hmm. for a certain area, and we have in this state like 28 Cessna aircraft mm. and um, you know many more than that trained air crews you know can go out and they want to see you know is this levee still standing mm -hmm. you know in the flood mm -hmm. situation okay. or how you know what got destroyed in, in the in the the, the wildfire okay. uh, burn and we can survey this from the air and so that is uh, you know that that's a very much a, a growing mission for civil air patrol now cadets when they turn 18, can actually be begin to be part of air crew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spotters, a, they get in the plane and yeah, we call them we, scanners. Scanners. We okay. call them scanners, but we have uh, one cadet who actually, on his own, he didn't wait for the scholarship, 
has just gotten his private license yeah. before he turned 18. Yeah. He wanted it. He, 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 wants he it really wants it. And yeah. yes, and he's one of the ones who's got his application for Air Force Academy. Oh, good too. for him. And now, if somebody's watching today, a young person or a parent who might want to get their kid involved or just find out more information, where would they start? Well, probably the best way to get information overall, an entire program would be to go online to go civil air patrol. Dot com. Go Civil Air Patrol got, dot com. That's and, pretty easy. Uh, and there, there you see a parent section, a pilot section, mm -hmm. uh, sections for teachers and for for cadets. cadets. If you go for the information on that section, and you can uh, get most of your questions answered there. Okay. But if you want to know locally mm -hmm. about our squadron, we meet at the fairgrounds at the National Guard Armory there. Okay basically every Thursday night, okay. except next week, because it's week, fair night, fair week, yeah. and they've turned the armory into quilt night. Quilt night, yeah. <laughs> so we are skipping uh, next night. and So besides but, next but, Thursday, but, could but, somebody but just show up there? and they, they can show up. The cadets begin at, at, at 6.15, okay. and uh, they're, they're certainly free. To, and if they'd like to uh, get more local information about it, feel free to contact me at my website, okay. which I think you're going to post there, or my, my, my email, and uh, that's a local phone number, too. Okay. Can you, can you say him? Do you know your email and phone that you could just well, tell? Sir. Blurred out here? <laughs> yeah. The, I was going to uh, say him for you, but I can't see that far to the screen. Okay. So. And the, the phone number is 559-978-5884. And the uh, email address is J E S. P H Y L E R at S T I dot net. Now, if you didn't get that, just call me here at Center Valley Talk. I'll give you uh, James' phone number, direct number, right? And his email address, and it's go civil air patrol dot com. That's it. I memorized for, it already. For, for the national the website, national. bunches of information about the program. Just find out how, how deep and wide it is. Mm -hmm. By the way, we've been around for 75 years as mm -hmm. of this coming. December. Mm -hmm. So, despite all the things we've we've been doing, um, we we still tend to be quite a secret yeah. to most people. Yeah. So that's part of the reason I'm here, Mike, and We're I really appreciate your help to get the word out because yeah. we definitely have some good news for any youth in in, in the Fresno yeah. area who might be interested in aviation mm -hmm. or in a military career. Civil Air Patrol is a great way to sort of test that culture and see if that's a fit for you or not. Uh, that's uh, Civil Air Patrol Cadet Program. Any youth, uh, middle school, high school, they can get involved. 12 to 18. 12 to 18. And uh, uh, get a hold of James Shepard. Got that right? <laughs> and uh, I, I'll give you his phone number. You call me up. I'll put you in touch with him. Go to GoCivilAirPatrol.com. But get involved. This is a great, great way for uh, maybe some kids looking for a direction, which most of them are, to get involved. We'll be back with more Central Valley Business right after this.